Hey guys, today we are going to install our projector headlights on this 07 to 13 Chevy Silverado. We have a few different options here. Um, they all hook up basically the same, but we're gonna go over each different option that we have and show you the differences between them. Okay, so our first option that we have is our LED halo. So we have an upper projector for your low beam and your high beam. Then we have reflectors here and then your turn signals. Um, we have some styling in here, the little chrome dots. Those don't light up on this model um, as this is just a LED halo trim. So on the back side of this one, as you can see, we have the single plug-in. We also have two wires that need to be spliced in. This is for the LED halos and these get spliced into your parking lights, power and ground. Now, the reason why we don't hook these up is to give you guys options. You can hook them up, we suggest, to the parking lights. That way, anytime your parking lights come on, the halos will come on. Now, you can hook them up to a switch if you're a show car guy and wanna turn them on just by themselves without your parking lights, there's that option. That's why we do not hook them up. That way, it gives you a couple different options. And uh, for this model, it seemed to work the best. So the next ones that we have is the CCFL halo. So this halo is a bit brighter than the LED halo. And uh, all the same uh, functions are in this light with the exception of we have six LEDs along the side that do light up. And the back side is exactly the same. You have your main plug-in, your parking lights here. You have a inverter for the halos, which has a red and black wire that needs to be spliced in. And then you also have the blue and black wire down here that need to be spliced in. So on this particular model, what you would do is you take the red and the blue, twist the ends together on that one, and then the two blacks, twist the ends together on that one, and then they would go to your parking light power and ground, or switch if you want to hook them up that way as well. So other than that, everything is exactly the same as this light. Now the ones that we will be installing today are our black projector U-bars. So a little bit different style. We still have the upper projector, your high beam, your reflectors, and your amber lights, as well as the six LEDs that light up on the side. The difference on these obviously is cosmetic, and uh, on these we put our U-bar styling in them. Uh, very popular, it's you know very different than what else has been out there. Again, on the back side, everything's the same. You have your main harness plug-in, and then you also, on these ones, you have a blue and black wire for the U-bars. These also get spliced right into your power and ground on your parking lights. And on all these lights, it's the red and black wire that comes off of either of these lights here. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to hook these up to the harness that we provide, and then we'll get started on the vehicle. Tools needed for this are going to be scotch locks, panel popper, pair of pliers, 3 8 ratchet, an extension, and a 10 millimeter socket. So to connect these wires, these are for your, on this U-bar headlight, these are for the LED U-bars. You need this harness coming over here from your parking lights. And if you look at them, you have blue, red, and black. So your red is gonna be your constant power. So we need that for the blue. So we take one of the scotch locks and we just slip this over the wire. Make sure it's in the outer channel. Then you take your blue wire here. Go into the outer channel there. And then with your pliers, you just press down until it's seated all the way. Take the fold over piece, lock it down, and that's done. So let's hook up our ground. Now, if you prefer a different method of hooking these up, you can. This is just the quickest and easiest. These scotch locks you can get from any of your local auto parts stores. Many of you already have them if you do any type of wiring on your vehicle. Okay, 
see now that that's done, that's hooked up, we can get started on taking the vehicle apart. Okay, so first thing to do, obviously, is pop your hood. We're gonna need to take off a few components beforehand. We're gonna need to remove this top tray and the grill. So obviously the reason why we're swapping out the headlights, not only for the added style, but on this older vehicle, the wear and tear on the stock headlights has left these lenses very yellowed. So the appearance of the truck isn't as good as it was when it was brand new, obviously. So um, if you take a really close look at these, you can see how yellowed these ones are. These are original to an 07 and uh, haven't had you know any changes done to them. To remove this top panel, we have eight push tabs located along this. Um, we'll remove all eight of these and uh, that way we can remove this and uh, take off the grill. Just use your panel popper. Now on these, it's, these are recessed pretty good so you should be able to grab and pull them out just like that. If you can't, this top portion will come out and then you can get back in there with your panel popper and pop up the rest of it. A small flat blade works just as good for these. See so yeah, how that one just came out? Just get in here and get the rest of it out. You can also pull up on this tray and they'll pop out. But you want to make sure you don't lose these because you'll need them to reinstall this panel. Put this off to the side. Okay, so now we can remove the grill. The, you have four 10 millimeter bolts across here. Now, if you're not the first owner on the truck or you know, you've know you done work and you replace your bolts, they're obviously gonna be a different size than 10 millimeter if you've replaced them. So just be aware that on some vehicles that you have out there, that not all these will be 10 millimeter like they're supposed to be. So we'll remove these top four bolts. Be sure to set your bolts off to the side as you will need to reuse them when you reinstall your grill. Okay, to remove the rest of your grill, you have six of these push tabs. There's four around the center and two on the lower outer side of the grill in order to remove the rest of the grill. So what you'll do is you just use your pliers, grab in the center, and you wanna pull out until it pops. Okay, so once you've released those tabs, just pull your grill directly out, and now we can remove the headlight. Okay, so now that we can take out the headlight, we have three bolts. We have one here, one here, and the third mounting location is gonna be in here on the bottom. Now, on this vehicle, there's no wheel well liner in here. So, you will have to, you'll have two bolts, one here and one here, to pull down the wheel well liner so you can access the lower bolt. Okay, so now that you've removed the three bolts, you can go ahead and remove the headlight from the vehicle. This can be a little tricky, but you just gotta wiggle it and slide it out. So you wanna be careful. If you have to, if you have a good paint job or something, you can put blue tape on down here before you remove this, that way you're not scratching anything. Um, so let's wiggle this out. Now, if you have, if your harness is in any way, you know, um, making it to where you can't get it out, you'll have, if you get it to this point, what you'll do is you'll just go ahead and pull out your uh, bulbs, and then you can pull it the rest of the way out. So that's the harness connector right here. You can see this. You just depress this tab here. Now, some of these can be pretty difficult, and. If you can't get it by depressing this tab, you can go in through this side with a small flat blade screwdriver, pick it up and push out. So this one just releases just like that. And this is what our, our connector on our headlight will plug into. Okay, so as you can see, I had to pull out the bulb on this and um, we have some odd wiring going on here. Um, this customer had HIDs in here. 
uh, not something that we supply uh, because of DOT legality reasons. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna fix the wiring and get our headlight in here. Luckily enough, he didn't uh, mess with the stop connector. So all I have to do is clean up this stuff from here and uh, I'll be able to replace the headlight no problem. Okay, so I got this all figured out. Um, it wasn't too bad. I uh, just had to make sure nothing was gonna arc on anything and whatnot. So um, got our new light here, ready to go in. All we gotta do is plug it in here. You wanna just push in until you hear it snap or feel it snap. Now we do have, we do provide an extra clip on here so you can reclip it back to your headlights, just like stock. So to get these in, what you wanna do, you wanna start on the bottom, because it is a little tight. And you just wanna kinda push down a little bit until it gets back here, like so. And you gotta just wiggle it back and forth to get it to go. So if it doesn't work that way, you can reset it to where you can get it to move back. Um, you do have an alignment pin in a couple areas up front that you need to get it lined up. But once you have it lined up, it'll just slide right back in. And as you can see, it, it meets all the body lines here. Okay, so now I've got both sides in. Now I've gone back and made sure that the body lines were right. One thing that I didn't go over when we were talking about the lights at the beginning of the video, and I'll show you now, is if you have a large gap here, it's partly due because we, we actually, in the shipping process to protect these edges, we put this foam pad on the side. So if you have a larger gap, you can put, you can leave the, the, this on to take up to cushion it right here to get it to seat all the way. But if you're if you're experiencing a larger gap here, remove this from the light and it'll actually seat all the way back. So that way you're, you don't have any big gap issues or anything and they line up properly. So with that said, I'm gonna finish putting the front end of this back together and we'll check out the lights.